with MC Money coming back to the hot seat. I'm off my game, obviously. Turtle had to step up and tell me that. But how you doing, Turtle? You feeling a red mood tonight? Away from winning one million dollars. I'm doing all right. You have a time limit for every question. Leftover time is banked for use on the million dollar question. If you do not answer a question within the time limit, the game will be over and you'll walk away with the money you've won so far. At any I time, guess that'll be nice, question, and I can, can flip through them real quick. The you've won so far. You can use three lifelines. We got the blue. The white, where you'll call one of your friends the black, will then tell you what they think is the answer. And then the red. Ask the audience, where you'll pull the audience to see what they think is the correct answer. And finally, double dip. That gives you an extra shot at a question if you fail to answer correctly, but it is the only lifeline where you must answer the question and cannot walk away. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? I'm just using trigger fryer. Millionaire. Here comes the five hundred dollar question. You have fifteen seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Often made by pranksters in photos, the rabbit ear's hand signal is identical to what other gesture? Military salute. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. You've won five hundred dollars. For one thousand dollars. Good old trigger fire. Which of these household products is available in a variety called Select a Size? Paper towels. Paper towels. Is that your final answer? That's what we're looking for. You're right. And I forgot the timer. We'll add two minutes. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. Which of these children's games shares its name with a type of open toe shoe? Peekaboo, patty cake, musical chairs, red light, green light. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. You've won two thousand dollars for three thousand. The University of California at Berkeley is located just 50 miles from which of these cities? Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, Santa Barbara. Is that your final answer? It's probably San Diego. Oh, you missed it. San Francisco. All right. I don't remember that one ever coming up, so I didn't know it. You're just 15 questions away from winning one million dollars. You have a time limit for every question. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? That's Let's good. Play. Millionaire. Get ready for the first question for five hundred dollars. You have fifteen seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Similar to a to-do list, a honey to-do honey to -do list is a set list of tasks usually meant to be completed by whom? Spouse. Your spouse. Is that your final answer? Yep. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. I don't have any of those honey to-do lists anymore. Let's move on to the I'm next good. question for $1,000. In the U.S., a $100 bill is often referred to as what? A string. C note. C note. Is that your final answer? You're right. Let it go. One, $1,000. 
Get ready for the $2,000 question. Which of these movie titles features the name of a popular laundry detergent? Tide. Crimson Tide. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's the correct answer. $2,000. We're moving on to $3,000 now. Oh my gosh. Here we go again. By definition, what Mexican dish is deep fried to make a chimichanga? Burrito. Taco. Tamal. Is that your final answer? You got it. Right answer. I didn't know they were deep fried. That's what I just called them a burrito. Let's move on to the $5,000 question. Which of these branches of the U.S. Armed Forces operates F-16s? Uh, Air Force. Army. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any doubt? That's the right answer. $5,000. You've reached $5,000. Whatever happens now, you won't leave with less than that. Deep fried is the best kind of fried, huh? For $7,500. Now you'll have 30 How you seconds doing, to answer Wolf? each question. Deadly natters, hideous zipplebacks, and gronkles are feared creatures in what 2010 movie? Naders, hitty. Alice in Wonderland. How to Train Your Dragon. Clash of the Titans. Monsters vs. Aliens. Audience, we need your help. On your keypads, vote now. Never heard of any Here's of these. Here's what the audience thinks. But, but everybody's saying Clash of Titans, so we'll go with it. Is that your final answer? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Of course they let me down. I don't even know what the answer was. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You're just 15 questions away from winning 1 million. Let's take a look at the first five categories. Yeah, audience is pretty dumb. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's I was going to go with How to Train Your Dragon. That was my answer. Here comes the $500 question. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. The sadness of parents the whose sadness grown parents children, whose children, have, children left home. have left home is commonly known as what syndrome? Mm, empty nest. Is that your final yep. answer? That's what we're looking for. You're right. $500. Get ready for your second question worth $1,000. Which of these pies reportedly got its name because its sweetness made it attractive to pesky insects? Fly. Mincemeat pie. Shoe pie. Is that your final answer? Yep. You got it. Right answer. One, a thousand dollars. Here comes the next question, worth two thousand dollars. Which of these... Oh, uh, shoot. Put the chat in slow mode. We got a raid coming in. Sing a song of sixpence. Little Miss Muffet. Hickory Dickory Dock. Jack be nimble. Is that your final answer? That's what we're looking for. All right. You've won two thousand dollars. Get ready for Pause this here in a minute. Three thousand dollars. Pay attention. Since 1963, Captain Crunch has donned what color jacket on the front of his cereal? Today's the day, yeah. Well, welcome in all Raiders. I'm Chosen Last. Uh, I'm currently working on the Wii library. There is 1,251 games of the retail disc library of North America. We're trying to go through all of them. We're getting ready to hit revisits um, right after Millionaire. Um, but if you guys like 
to know what games we're going to be revisiting, you can look at this. Because the list is up on the upcoming games. You can also check out stats and stuff. But we're trying to beat every library. Trying to beat the library of Wii games. It's been some Wii fling in action. Fun. Uh, that would be blue. Black. Is that your final yeah. answer? Yes. Welcome in, everyone. $3, We're gonna see if we can get three million here. It's been a long like grind. Contests rise from trivial things is a quote once featured on the box of what game? Categories: Trivial Pursuit, Balderdash, Pictionary. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yes, that's the correct answer. Woo! I didn't know it, but I got it. You've reached five thousand dollars. I know you do yet. We ain't doing nothing exciting down here tonight. We're just answering trivia questions. But... For $7,500, you have 30 seconds to answer each of the next five questions. That's why I turn the cam off, because I just want to relax and chill. Explicitly taking on the iPhone in 2009, Motorola released a smartphone with what futuristic name? Oh, God, Motorola. Droid. Borg. It was droid. Your final answer. It was droid. Because uh, these are not the droids you're looking for. I remember the commercial. These are not the droids you're looking for. $10,000 question is next. As suggested by his last name, NFL wide receiver Chad Ochocinco has what uniform number? Five. Zero. One. Eighty-five. Your final answer. Ocho's eight. Cinco's five. Uh-huh. You got it right. Okay. You've won ten thousand dollars. Next question is worth twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Here it comes. What 2010 movie prominently features a mythical beast called a Kraken? Uh, Alice in Wonderland. The Wolfman. Is that your final answer? That's the only one that would Mythical is Beast, that yeah. Your final answer. I'm impressed. That's it's the only one that I would could think of that would have the crack. Twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Get ready for the fifteen thousand dollar question. Seven more, and you'll be a millionaire. The Salton Sea is a large salt lake located in what U.S. state? Rhode Island, Florida, California, Washington. I'm gonna wanna say California. All right, let's start. Is that your final answer? Yep, that's it. See, I didn't even need to double dip, but I double dipped anyways. Dang it! Get ready for the second landmark, the $25,000 question. The animated TV series The Flintstones was based in part on what earlier TV series? Um... Father Knows Best. The Andy Griffith Show. The Honeymooners. Ozzy and Harriet. Is that your final Yeah, answer? I'm just going to go with it. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's Andy Griffin. Well, nope, the honey... My original answer was right. Holy God, go with the gut, not the brain. I've told myself this over and over. The brain is smarter than the gut. Or the gut's smarter than the brain. The gut is smarter than the brain. Take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Get ready for the first question for $500. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer.
Which of the following adjectives would best describe a comedy film and not and a, not a horror, horror film? Okay. Side splitting. Is yeah, that side your splitting. final answer? You're right. Way to go. You won five hundred dollars. The one thousand dollar question is coming up. Used in an ATM, a PIN is what kind of identification number? Uh, security. Processing. Personal. Public. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any good? Uh, that's the right answer. You won a thousand dollars. For two thousand dollars. Which of these is the name of a present day comedian and not the name of a historical figure? Ivan the Terrible. Richard the Lionheart. Say, is that your final answer? Yep. That's the correct answer. You won $2,000. Get ready for the next question for $3,000. Merrick and Pfizer are two of the largest companies in what industry? Uh, pharmaceutical. Textiles. Publishing. Is that your final answer? Yep. You got it. Right answer. $3,000. Oh, right man. The first landmark question worth $5,000. Name for the expensive spice, the color saffron is what hue? Yellow orange, blue green, purple, red. Is that your final answer? No, too bad. It's blue green. No, yellow orange. Okay. Oh, how much money do we have? No, I don't want to replay right now. I want to see my money. 700. All right. We need 300,000 more, and then we can call this game done. Because we set the goal at either win a million or earn a million. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. You ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. So we're getting there slowly. Let's see the $500 question. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer. Published in 2008, Cars for Comrades is a historical examination of automobiles made where? Japan, Italy. I would say Soviet, Soviet Union. Union. Is that your final answer? Well, my friend, you did it. Good awesome. Answer. You won five hundred dollars. One thousand dollar question is coming up. What national organization has a website that features a section called Meet the Cookies? YMCA, Little League. Girl Scouts. Is that your final answer? Yeah, because they're the one that sells the cookies. Right. Ready to go. One thousand dollars. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. Oh. Which of these jelly belly jelly bean varieties is not, not green, green in color? Okay. Margarita. Kiwi. Kiwi. Lemon. Cinnamon. Is that your final That would be answer. red. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You've won two thousand dollars. Could have put snot on there. Question. Come on now, everybody loves snot jelly beans. What candies are described on their packaging as semi-sweet chocolate non-pareils? Goobers, Sour Patch Kids, Snowcaps, Whoppers. Is that your? I have no answer? clue, but. Well, my friend, you did it. Hey. Good guess, good guess. Here comes the first landmark question worth $5,000. As a handy rhyme tells us, how many months have 31 days? Oh, I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't know what rhyme you're talking well, about. Friend, Hey, good guess, good guess. You're safe at the 
first landmark, but only ten questions. Wish, for the I wish I knew the rhyme they were talking the about. I don't know. The seventy-five hundred dollar question is next. You have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions. CNN journalist Anderson Cooper is a descendant of what prominent family dynasty? Mm. The Woolworths, the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers, the Astors. I have no clue. Hold the dang audience, even though they're dumb. On your keypads, vote now. Let's see if the audience can help you out. They're saying the Vanderbilts. Is that your final answer? Yeah, even though the audience is wrong. Good job. Oh wow, they are actually right this time. Seventy-five hundred dollars. Let's take a look at the ten thousand dollar question, shall we? Which of these TV shows is very loosely based on the life of forensic anthropologist Kathy Reichs? Medium. The Closer. Bones. Is that your? I would take a answer? straight. I would take a guess at Bones. Good job. You got it right. You won ten thousand dollars. It's a good TV show, by the way. I really enjoyed it. Which of these is not one of the new toys featured in Disney Pixar's Toy Story 3? Stretch the Octopus. What's a Huggin' Bear? Mr. Pricklepants. Voltron. No. Well done. That's correct. Uh, okay. Wasn't sure because I know two, the two. I wasn't sure about Stretch the Octopus. I couldn't remember who he was. And I don't remember Voltron. Whoever freaking Voltron is. What is the proper name for a newborn turkey? Oh God. Holt. Well. Squeaker. Cheaper. Is that your final We'll go with Holt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know, Sting. It's crazy. That's how dumb I am. How are you doing? That's why we set a goal as either earn a million or win a million. Sitcom Good Time centers around a family with what last name? Evans. Carter. Walker. I. I have no clue. I don't watch. I'm tired of the show, but never should have. Two chances to get the right answer. Is that your final answer? Ah, uh, earning no, Samari. You still okay. have another shot at it, though. Box ticking again. What's your second answer? Is mm, that goal is your Walker. final answer? No. It's Bradford, ain't it? Evans. <laughs> the last answer I would give. Close to the public. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Get ready for the first question for $500. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Hmm. What agency? What agency's collection of artifacts is often referred to as the finest spy museum you'll never Ooh. see. I don't know. CIA. No. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. So they're known for being spies. Here comes your chance for $1,000. The slogan Untouched by Man is used to advertise which of these grocery store products? Gatorade. Is BG. that your final answer? Yep. Because they say it's Untouched by Man. Ow! What you beat me up for, Cali? Here's United Air ad slogans urge travelers to fly what kind of skies? Oh God! What kind of sc endless skies? Clear blue skies? Western skies? Friendly skies? Wasn't it friendly skies? Uh, yeah. It was either clear blue or friendly. 
that's the correct answer. All right, finally it was. Awesome. We're moving on to $3,000 now. According to a popular 1980s party song, the roof, the roof, the roof is what? On fire. Coming down. Is that your final The answer? roof is on fire. Well, I can even can see the dance move right there. Here comes the first landmark question worth $5,000. Whose epitaph reads, free at last, free at last, thank God almighty, I'm free at last. What Malcolm the f X, Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King Jr. I don't even know what an epitaph, whatever epitaph, whatever that word is. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was incorrect. Junior. I don't even know what that word would meant. Stop using fancy words. You're just 15 questions away from winning. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. $500. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. When the letter P is replaced with a B, which of these football terms becomes a baseball term? Oh god, but that'd be bunt. Penalty. Place kick. Pocket. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Punt, punt. Is there ever any good? That's the right answer. You've won five hundred dollars. Get ready for your second question. All right, second question. Aura Ida, a brand of potato products, got its name by combining the first three letters of two what? States. Movie stars. Is that your final? Oregon answer? and Idaho. That's what we're looking for. You're right. You want a thousand dollars? Get ready for the two thousand dollar question. The USDA uses the official terms broiler, fryer, and roaster to classify different types of what? Eggs. Ears of corn. Chicken. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. I think I went with, we went with potatoes last time. Get ready for the next yeah. question for $3,000. Because I missed the roast part. What Broadway musical is subtitled The American Tribal Love Rock Musical? Phantom of the Opera. Wicked. Hair. Is that I would say hair. Answer? That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Right. What? Three thousand dollars. Okay. Next question. Five thousand dollars. Here we go. Introduced in 1559, the Vatican's Index Librorum Prohibitorum is a list of what? Ah! Confirm miracles, papal succession, mortal sins, banned books. I would say banned books just by that answer. middle word sounds like library. Yes, that's the correct answer. Hey, hey, good guess. Just by that middle word, I'm thinking library. Landmark, but only 10 questions for the million. You're guaranteed to leave with at least $5,000. For $7,500. You have 30 seconds to answer each of the next five questions. No, I've never beat this game, Turtle. This is a game I just put in before Following a uh, scale, the revisit. was returned to Pro Golf in 2010 at what tournament? The Masters. The U.S. Open, the British Open, the PGA Championship. Is that your final answer? No. It was the Masters. See, my gut was right, my brain was wrong again. No, I've never beat this game. Uh, I just knew we were at this game when I was almost at 15 hours, and I just don't want to leave it on the back burner anymore. Yeah, that's why I said a goal is either earn a mil or win a mil.
Whichever comes first. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. But the way I'm going to earn my million is just try. I'm not going to bank anything. It's whatever I earn by failed attempts. During which of these party games do participants playfully chant, How low can you go? Limbo. In the tail on the donkey. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. I just, we had this game on the back burner and I knew it was at 15 hours, so I said, I'll put this game before the revisits and then we'll do the revisits. As its name implies, Dwell Magazine is a publication dedicated to what subject? Finance? Sports, fashion, home design. Home design. Is that it's your it's final dwell. answer? Like dwelling. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? That's a good magazine. $1,000. Here comes the next question worth $2,000. Which of these stock market symbols belongs to a company known for selling sneakers? And I. Y H O is that yeah, your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. That's Yahoo, Nike, Microsoft, and Google. Let's see your next question. With all the abbreviations. In her 1985 number one single, Whitney Houston asks, "How will I know if what? He really loves me. I can go on. You're the one. Is that your final answer?" Oh no, I'm sorry, that was incorrect. Okay. I guess I don't know my Whitney Houston. But yet I knew my stock market abbreviations. <laughs> Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That reminds me of what happened today. What happened in the news. I don't know if it was today or yesterday or sometime this week that what happened in the news with Elon Musk. categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's start the game with the $500 question. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Yeah, I know. Fittingly, the Liberty Bell uh, is the home of what Major League Baseball team? Or the Nationals. Atlanta Braves. Cincinnati Reds. Oh, Philadelphia Atlanta Phillies. Duh. Answer. Duh. Washington's is yes, something else. That's the correct answer. $500. Let's move on to the next question for $1,000. Because we typically eat the fleshy part of its root, which of these foods is considered a root vegetable? Hmm. Pepper. Turnip. Pumpkin. Eggplant. Is that your final answer? I would think turnip. Was there ever any good? Hey, I was right. Never had a turn up in my life, but Let's move sounded on to like it. Question. The term carbon footprint refers primarily to the impact of a person's lifestyle on the what? On the planet. Economy. Is that your environment? Same thing. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You won $2,000. Let's see your next question, which is worth $3,000. Which of these old cities shares its name with a popular brand of Mexican food products? Hmm. Old El Paso. Old Santa Fe. Old San Antonio. Old Las Cruces. Final answer. No. Final answer. You're right. There we go. Won three thousand dollars. There we go. Here comes the first landmark question worth five thousand dollars. Which of these animals is not considered an insect? An insect. Okay. Fly. Beetle. Spider. Gnat. Is that your final answer? Spiders are arachnid. Well, my friend, you did it. Not an insect. $5,000. No matter 
what happens, $5,000 is yours. Let's move on to the $7,500 question. For each of the next five questions, you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. In 2010, President Obama and a former NBA athlete played what fitting version of the game horse? SCOTUS, POTUS, FBI, IRS. Is that your final? I have no clue, but that's what I'm taking. That's not correct. Okay. See, I knew I should have went POTUS. That was what my gut told me. But the brain answers, the gut don't. I guess we should just listen to the gut for now on. I don't even know what the word POTUS means. Let's take a look at the first five Probably would have made sense if I knew. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's see the $500 question. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer. In the hit World War II era song, the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy belongs to what military unit? Oh God, the Bugle. Squadron K. Battalion O. Company B, if I remember right. Answer. Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. You've won $500. Here comes your chance for $1,000. Which of these dignitaries is often referred to in the press as the world's most famous Buddhist? Hmm. Queen Noor. Dalai Lama. Is that your I would think Dalai answer? Lama. One of those names. Yes, that's the correct answer. One, a thousand dollars. Let's see the two thousand dollar question. In 1910, S. Duncan Black and Alonzo G. Decker founded a company famous for selling what? Uh, Black and Decker power tools. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. $2,000. Let's see your next question, which is worth $3,000. But now they're really the considered the one of the cheapest Earth. brands Disneyland out there. Is located in what California city? The happiest place on Earth, Santa Disneyland, Barbara. is located in Cali San Diego. In what California city? Anaheim. Sacramento. Final answer. Guts telling me Anaheim. We'll go Anaheim. You got it. Right answer. Cool. That's right. Three thousand dollars. Next question. Five thousand dollars. Here we go. What musician wrote the 1989 bestseller Tales from Margaritaville? Neil Young. Uh, Jimmy Gee, Buffett. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's right. You know yourself, don't you? Five thousand dollars. $5,000, whatever happens now, you won't leave with less than that. Still got what it takes. Okay. Here comes the next question, worth $7,500. You have 30 seconds to answer each of the next five questions. Okay. In 2010, which of these still active NFL stars became a grandfather? Brett Favre, Terrell Owens, Tom Brady, Ladanian Tomlinson. Is we'll just say Tom Brady. It's either A or C, but Gut's telling me C. That's not correct. Gut's wrong, finally. Okay. Oh. Let's 
take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Okay. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Get ready for the first question for $500. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer. Regular brushing and Regular flossing brushing of the teeth, recommended, the teeth measure. recommended measures for preventing what? Cavities. Conjunctivitis. Gingivitis. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's the correct answer. $500. Let's move on to the next question for $1,000. On a bank check for $1 million, the amount box should feature a one with how many Four. zeros? A. Six. Seven. On a bank Four. check for $1 million, the amount box should feature one with how many zeros? Final answer. Is it $1 million? why we stopped all the Mega Man. Three broke me. I'm trying to get my nerve to go back to it. Devil's food cake is a sinfully dark dessert item with what flavor? Chocolate. Cherry, is that your final answer? Mm-hmm. That's the correct answer. I won $2,000. Let's see your next Eventually, question. I gotta go back to three and six. On the cartoon series Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, which character usually wears an ascot? What the hell's an ascot? Fred, Scooby, Velma. Well, Is Velma's the only one that I know wears something. Oh, you missed it. I was gonna go with Fred, but I can't this picture Fred with anything. I don't even know what the hell an ascot is. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Well, if I knew it was a scarf, I could have went for Ed. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. I was thinking hat, and the only one that I knew that would work kind of like a hat was Here comes the $500 question. I guess Velma don't wear a hat either. Oh, I don't know, that questions. logic didn't make sense either. <laughs> Vanity sizing is the practice of labeling clothes with smaller sizes in order to make customers feel what? Wealthier. Is that your final answer? That's what we're looking for. You're right. You want $500. The $1,000 question is coming up. Everything is copacetic means roughly the same thing as which of the following. That's so annoying. How bizarre. Everything's cool. I'm very stressed. Is that your final answer? That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? One, a thousand All right. dollars. For two thousand dollars. Information that passes informally from one person to the next is often said to be heard through the what? Grapevine. Grapevine. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You won two thousand dollars for three thousand. In the Disney animated classic Pinocchio, what kind of animal swallows Pinocchio whole? A whale. Wolf. Is that your final answer? Yep. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. Won three thousand dollars. Get ready for the first landmark question worth five thousand dollars. According to the title of a popular folk song, what animal is in the straw? It's in the straw. Cow. Chicken. Turkey. Goat. I don't even know. We'll Is go with chicken. I've never even heard of a folk song with freaking animal in a straw. No, that's not it. I'm so sorry. What kind of obscure shit is that?
years away from winning one million dollars. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's start the game with the $500 question. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Coroner's use only is a phrase commonly seen on which of these types of documents? Uh, that would be a death certificate. Is that your final yep. answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. You won $500. Let's move on to the next question for $1,000. In the U.S. Army, officers wear between one and five stars to indicate that they hold what rank? Lieutenant. Captain. General. Colonel. General. Is that your final answer? Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. One, a thousand dollars. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. Man-made levees are raised embankments designed to hold back what? Water. Pollution. Is Blood that water your work. final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. You won $2,000. Let's see your next question, which is worth $3,000. In a V8 car engine, which of these components is arranged in a V-shaped pattern? In a V8 car engine, which of these Carburetor. components is arranged Cylinder. in a V-shaped Turbocharger. Cylinder. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. $3,000. Let's move on to the $5,000 question. In the Star Spangled Banner, the adjective perilous is used to describe what word? Oh, God. Fight. Rockets. Ramparts. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I'll say that. Star I haven't heard that in a while. No, too bad. That was the wrong answer. Fight. Perilous fight. Uh. Oh well. I knew. I'm not that smart. Let's not replay. I want to check my bank. Hey, we're at 721 now. Cool. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. For $500, you'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Green fees and cart rentals are costs often incurred while partaking in what leisure activity? Golf. Oh, golf, yeah. Skiing. Golf. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. $500. Let's move on to the next question for $1,000. If it could talk, the traditional animal symbol of the Democratic Party would most likely say what? Democrat would say hee -haw. Hee haw. Is that your final answer? That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? One, a thousand dollars. For two thousand dollars. Anton Joseph Sachs, a 19th century Belgian, is best remembered as the inventor of a what? Kind of uh, firearm. Musical is instrument. That your final answer. Saxophone. Was there ever any other? That's the right answer. You won $2,000. We're moving on to $3,000 now. What biblical figures are often known as the Magi? Adam and Eve. The Twelve Apostles, Three Wise Men, Jesus and Mary. I should so know this. Final but I don't. That's what we're looking for. You're right. One, three thousand dollars. Get ready for the first landmark question worth five thousand dollars. Which of these classic TV characters often tells others to sit on it? 
Archie Bunker, The Fonz, George Jefferson, Louis De Palma. It's either Archie or George. Is that your final answer? No, too bad. It was that George. Was the, wrong the Fonz. I don't remember Fonz. God, the only thing I remember from that show with the Fonz was, hey. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's see the $500 question. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Which of these characters from AFI's list of the 50 greatest movie villains was an actual movie star? Travis Bickle, Alex Forrest, Norman Bates, Joan Crawford. Final answer. Ah, oh, you missed it. John Crawford. Oh well, things happen. Left over time. Let's take a look at the first five yep. categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. For $500. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer. Which of these household devices is typically available with a mulching blade? A mulching blade that would be a lawnmower Tool processor electric razor see is that your final answer well my friend you did it good answer you won five hundred dollars for one thousand dollars oh i swear this is gonna be a 20 hours with this things and we're rolling 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 on the what river lake is that your final answer that's what we're looking for. You're right. One, a thousand. Rolling on the river. Here comes the next question. Worth two thousand dollars. The eighth month of the year is named after which of these historical figures? Alexander the Great. Is that your final answer? Yep, yeah, because it's August. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. You won two thousand dollars. Let's see your next question, which is worth $3,000. In the classic story, Peter Pan, what does Wendy use to reattach Peter's shadow? Oh, I don't remember. Dodges. Glue, molasses, needle and thread. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I don't know. That's right. Hey, good guess, good guess. $3,000. Here comes the first landmark question worth $5,000. In the classic film, It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey reluctantly runs what kind of business? Pharmacy. Savings and loan. Five and dime store. Insurance company. Okay, time to double. Is that your final answer? Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. Wasn't sure if that was it. I wanted to take a guess, but no. reach five thousand dollars. Whatever happens now, you won't leave with less than that. Reality TV world. All right. I probably won't know this, but let's go. You have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions. Disgraced former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich appeared on what reality show in two thousand ten? Celebrity Rehab, 
Celebrity Apprentice. Dancing with the Stars. Is that your final answer? Sure. Well done. That's correct. Hey, That's good guess. Let's move on to $10,000 now. Which of these women has never been married to Tom Cruise? Oh, God, I don't know. Nicole Kidman. Penelope Cruz. Mimi Rogers. Is that your final answer? Oh, no, that was wrong. Penelope Cruz, okay. Here we go. away from winning one million dollars let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing are you ready audience are you ready let's play millionaire here comes the five hundred dollar question for each of the first five questions you will have 15 seconds to answer Which of these holidays always falls on the same numerical day of the month? Valentine's? I don't know. Easter. Independence Day. Thanks. Is that your final answer? Yeah, because that's always July 4th. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You won $500. Here comes your chance for $1,000. The United States of America is named after a famous what? Painter. Explorer. Poet. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. I was just checking the lot. Good guess. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. Which of these playthings typically feature dots or pips on its surface? Chess Dominoes. Piece. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You've won $2,000. We're moving on to $3,000 now. I Love You, a signature song of TV's Barney and Friends, takes its melody from what kid's song? Skip to my loo. Row, row, row your boat. London Bridge. This old man. You love me. That'd be this old man. Final answer. I had to sing the song out of my head, but I figured by listening to the tune, yeah, I could see old man. Old man is snoring. Famously ended his monologues by pretending to do what? Swing a golf club. Pitch a baseball. Swing a lasso. Wave a magic wand. Final answer. I would guess a Swing a golf club. Okay. Yay. Next. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Oh God, L.A. landmarks. Ready? Audience, are you ready? I'm Let's probably gonna fail that right out. I'm probably not even gonna get off with question one. $500. Unless it's that obvious. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. It'll probably be obvious, though, being the first question. Yeah, it's Today obvious. Pharaoh heads and hieroglyphics adorn the entrance of what Los Angeles landmark? La Brea Tower. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. You won $500. For $1,000. Which of these material names is also an adjective meaning artificial? Plastic. Wood. Is that your final answer? That's what we're looking for. You're right. Cool. One, a thousand dollars. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. In 1898, Swiss businessman Caesar Ritz established a now famous what in Paris? Hotel, University, Auction House, 
Hotel. Your final answer. The Ritz Hotel, maybe? <coughs> $2,000. Get ready for the next question for $3,000. Which of these Beatles classics features several lyrics sung in French? A hey Jude, Michelle, Penny Lane, Yesterday. I don't know. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. Oh, wow. Good guess, good guess. Let's move on to the $5,000 question. Home to a large global banking industry, Zurich is the most populated city of what European country? Switzerland, Poland, Germany, Belgium. Is that your final? My gut's telling me that. My brain's telling me a different one. Right. But we went with the gut. Oh god, we're back to reality. Here comes the next question, worth $7,500. For each of the next five questions, you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. Before competing in Dancing with the Stars, Evan Lysacek won an Olympic gold medal in what sport? Snowboarding. Figure skating. Speed skating. Downhill skiing. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no. Figure skating. Tech. Yep. Gut was right again. Five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. For $500, you'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. An inexperienced person is often said to be wet where? Behind the ears. Below the knees. Is that your final answer? That's what we're looking for. You're right. Five hundred dollars. The one thousand dollar question is coming up. Destroy it is a popular brand of what type of office equipment? Fax machine, photocopier, print. Is that? I would say paper shredder sure, because it destroys things. That's what we're looking for. You're right. Here comes the next question, worth $2,000. Okay. Which Desperate Housewives actress's first name is also a noun meaning happiness? Terry Hatcher, Felicity Huffman, Marcia Gross, Ava Longoria. Final answer. None of them sound like happiness to me. That's the correct answer. Okay. That was the closest one that sounded like it. Let's see your next question, which is worth $3,000. TV and computer game character Carmen Sandiego was introduced in 1985 to teach kids what? Uh, Art. Geogra is that your geography. Answer? Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? That's the correct answer. Geography. $3,000. Or $5,000. The unconventional young women of America's jazz age are commonly known by what nickname? Drifters. Cutters. Flappers. Is that your final answer? Yep. Was there ever any doubt? That's the right answer. $5,000. That was a pretty easy $5,000 question. You're safe at the first line <sighs> mark, but only 10 questions for the million. You're guaranteed to leave with at least $5,000. Oh. Well, we ain't getting up. We're just gonna earn five thousand. Here comes the next question, worth seventy-five hundred dollars. You have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions.
Though known for her comedy, who won an Oscar for her dramatic turn in the 2009 film Precious? Precious. Kim Coles. Monique. Wanda Sykes. The only one that I know is known for her comedy is Wanda Sykes, so... I don't even know who the hell Monique is. Never even heard of her. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. I wouldn't have. There was ready? no point in using anything Audience, there. Are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Here comes the $500 question. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer. Which of these classic movie musicals features a violin soloist in its opening credits? Fiddler on the Roof. Fiddler on the Roof. Is that your final answer? Yep. You're right. Way to go. You won $500. Get ready for your second question, worth $1,000. What natural disaster is defined as a deficiency in precipitation over an extended period? Drought. Drought. Is that your final answer? That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? One, $1,000. For $2,000. As its title implies, the Jack Black movie Be Kind Rewind takes place primarily in a what? Movie store. Pet store. Is that your final Video answer? Video store word. You're right. There you go. You won two thousand dollars for three thousand. Fair and balanced is the trademark slogan of which of these cable news networks? MSNBC, CNN. Fox News, HLN. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm gonna say Microsoft. Oh no, I'm nope. sorry, that was incorrect. Fox News is fair and balanced. Oh, okay, cool. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Wake me up when we were reach a million. Take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's see the $500 question. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 yeah. seconds to answer. Come on. Which of these impressive feats of construction is named after a U.S. president? Chrysler Building, Hoover Dam, Hancock Tower, is the Hoover that Dam. final answer? Yep. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. You won $500. For $1,000. Since 2000, numbered counting sheep have served as the advertising mascots for what brand? Sleep something. John Deere. Sort of. Is that your final answer? Yep. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. One, a thousand dollars. Let's see the two thousand dollar question. Fought long ago between England and France, the Hundred Years' War lasted roughly one point two what? Decades. Centuries. Millennia. Is that your final answer? Yeah, because decades is ten, centuries is a hundred. Right. There you go. $2,000. Get ready for the next question for $3,000. In the early 1900s, Dr. Maria Montessori developed a system that is still widely used to do what? Train dogs. Organize libraries. Teach young children. Interpret dreams. I have not a clue. Final answer. Just whatever. No, that's not it. I'm so sorry. I have not a clue. Nothing was coming to brain. Asking weird ass questions again. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You're just 15 questions.
questions away from winning one million dollars. You have a time limit for... Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's see the $500 question. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. By definition, an exit poll is an informal survey of people who have recently finished doing what? Voting. Traveling on a plane. Is that your final answer? Yep. Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. You've won $500. The $1,000 question is coming up. Dead tree version is slang for a document that is what? Printed on paper. Extremely long. Available online. Is that your final answer? I would answer? say. That's the correct answer. Worth a thousand dollars. Get ready for the two thousand dollar question. Which of these farms would most likely feature a hatchery? Uh, be a chicken. Sheep farm. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. You're right. Remember when I remember taking my cousin out of the city into the country and we passed the chicken farm and he was goes what the hell's that smell while he was had his shirt up over his nose and everything it was hilarious the American way Wyatt Earp Batman Superman Lone Ranger is that your final answer ah you miss Wyatt ever Superman Okay. That would have been a way off answer for me. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You just hit the let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. I am dumber than a box of rocks. Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's start the game with the $500 question. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Which of these automobile brands is a homonym of a verb meaning to cry? What the frick is a homonym? Mazda. Sav. Kia. Is that your final answer? Uh, sobs just sounds like you're crying. That's what we're I have no clue what a hominin is. What the fuck? Get ready for your second question for one thousand dollars. Needs more shovelware. Yeah, it's got plenty of it though. Movie, the Wizard of Oz. What character wears an upside down funnel as a hat? Still don't know what a cinnamon is. Cowardly lion. Scarecrow. Is that your final answer? I failed English. Okay, leave me alone. That's the correct answer. Comes the next question worth two thousand dollars. What natural occurrences are the subjects of the children's book Flash, Crash, Rumble, and Roll? Heat waves, thunderstorms. Your final answer. How are you doing today, right? That's what we're looking for. You're right. You're going two thousand dollars. Get ready for the next question for three thousand dollars. The 1986 Tom Cruise movie, The Cover yeah. of Money, centers around what high-stakes game? Cool. 1986 Tom Cruise, Cruise, The Color of Money, centers around what high-stakes game? Poker. Is that your final It was answer? probably pool, though. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was Stay watch. It was pool. Okay. The gut said pool. The brain said this. Whatever. Oh... That's why I never got my accounting degree in college. I failed in my English class in college three times and got academically fit. Expelled. Look at the first categories you're going to be facing. Well, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play millionaire. Who needs English? <laughs> You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. The 
the monthly magazine Q Sport is primarily targeted. <laughs> That's funny. We just failed out a pool question, and then we get a pool question. <laughs> is that your That's hilarious. Answer. That's right. You know yourself, mm -hmm. don't you? You won five hundred dollars. Let's move on to the next question for one thousand dollars. In the U.S., read this and write about what. <laughs> Thanksgiving, Groundhog Day, Labor Day. Saint In the Day U.S., which Day. of these holidays Valentine's falls between Day. the Fourth of July and Thanksgiving? Uh, Labor Day. Final answer. Yeah. You got it. Right answer. One thousand dollars. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. Due to the appearance of the numbers, what poker hand is slangly known as snowmen? Pair of eights. Pair of fours. Is that your final answer? Yep, that is my final answer. You're right. There you go. That's a snowman. A snowman is a pair of eights. For 3000 What classic 1960s TV series featured the theme song, The Ballad of Jed Clampett? Oh, that's easy. That's the Beverly Hillbillies. Is that your final answer? Answer. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? Won three thousand dollars. Never heard you what. For the first landmark question, worth five thousand dollars. There was a couple questions there. Which of these solo artists got his start in the '80s as the lead singer of the pop group oh, Menudo? Oh, the poker question. Yeah. Mark Anthony, Ricky Martin, John Cicada, Enrique Iglesias. Is that? I'm gonna say this guy. Answer. Too bad. That it was, was Ricky. Answer. Yeah, there's a lot of terms for poker hands. Well, Pair of suicides. Another one. You're just 50. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Here comes the $500 question. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Thirty-two, I think it was. Tilts at all are lyrics from a 1969 song by The Who titled "What." He's got crazy. F oh, this is it. That's a pinball is wizard. That your final yeah, I believe it was 32. Was there ever any maybe 64. I think maybe we got to the million dollar question once. Or right you below it. I don't remember that. I'd have to go back through the VODs. There's Which so many. These household fixtures does Home Depot sell in a clawfoot variety? That would be a bathtub, sir. Bathtub. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. You won a thousand dollars. For two thousand dollars. Which of these movies is part of a trilogy? The Godfather part. Is that your final answer? No, it's Godfather. Your final answer. Yes. That's right. Our goal is just to earn a million dollars because we're not going to win a thousand million dollars. A swashbuckler is typically defined as someone who fights with what kind of weapon? A sword. Sword. Is that your final answer? You got it. Right answer. Won three thousand dollars. Next question. Five thousand dollars. Here we go. I know, right? I gave that one away. Days of Thunder. Tom Cruise plays a competitor in what sport? That would be auto racing. Is that your final answer? Tom Cruise played it. He was the coolest. Insert this here back in that era. Bartender, this sport, pool player, whatever you want to call it. So many of them. Insert something here. Cool guy. Let's move on to the $7,500 question. For each of the next five questions, you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. At 
At the 2010 Oscars, Molly Ringwald and Matthew Broderick fittingly pay tribute to what film director? Sidney Pollack. John Hughes. Is that your final answer? John Hughes, come on now. If that, if that ain't the answer, then I don't know who they'd be paying homage to. Come on now, John Hughes was a big in the 80s. Great movies he's done. What is the title of a 2010 Julia Roberts movie based on the best-selling memoir by Elizabeth Gilbert? Pray, Love, Eat. Eat, Pray, Love. Is that your final answer? Yep, Eat, Pray, Love. Yep, that's it. Really? Never heard of You've seen The Breakfast Club. $12,500 question is next. I believe it was Breakfast Club is the one I'm thinking of. In 2010, Robert Halderman was sentenced to six months in jail for attempting... that one or the other one I'm thinking of. Jimmy Kimmel. Conan O'Brien. David Letterman. Jay Leno. 2010, Robert was sentenced to six months in jail for attempting to blackmail whom? I don't know. Pull the audience. Need your help? On your keypads, vote now. Here's what the audience thinks. Oh, okay. If you've never seen, like, the 80s teen movies, yeah, then you wouldn't know. Is that your final answer? Like, Breakfast Club and, uh, Euler and all that. Yeah. Get ready for the $15,000. Classics I grew up with. Blue sky laws are state regulations designed to protect people from what? Blue sky laws Securities are... Fraud, toxic waste disposal, carbon emissions, identity theft. I would say carbon emissions because just the word. Oh, no. That was wrong. Security... How's that got anything... That would have been my last answer. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have no clue how that that name does not make sense with what it was. Ready, audience? At all? Are you ready? Let's play millionaire. Let's see the five hundred dollar question. You have fifteen seconds to answer each of the first five questions. By definition, a vertebral subluxation is a medical problem that affects the bones of the what? Spine. Skull. Is that your final answer? That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You've won $500. For $1,000. In a game of Hangman, what body part is often drawn first after a player offers the first incorrect guess? The head. Foot. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. You won a thousand dollars. Get ready for the two thousand dollar question. Mm -hmm. You always want a second helping is a mnemonic for remembering there are two S's in what word? Passport. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Was there ever any good? Because everybody gets it confused with desert. Desert and desert. For 3000 In a chart-topping 1986 song, Peter Gabriel sings, I want to be your what? Man. Screwdriver. Yeah. Saw. Sledgehammer. That That's what it was. Answer. Yeah. Your sledgehammer. Yeah, I remember Sledgehammer. Next question, $5,000. Here we go. <laughs> a classic poster for the You never heard Sledgehammer, obviously. Features a large pair of what? Lips. Is that your final Can't answer? never forget that poster, man. Was there ever any doubt? God, I love that movie, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Just a jump to the left. The pelvic thrust that drives him insane. 
I didn't know who sung it, but I know this. I know the '86 song. I know the, the '80s song, Sledgehammer. So. Now you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. The Broadway musical American Idiot is a stage adaptation of a popular album by what band? Um, 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 um Green Day. Jam? Is that your final yeah. answer? Yep, that's it. I'm an American idiot. Let's take a look at the $10,000 question, shall we? In 2010, Jeff Bridges received a Best Actor Oscar for his performance as Bad Blake, who is a what? Astronaut, country singer, wrestler, football coach. Oh, I'm gonna go 50. I'm gonna do All double right, down. Let's start. Is that your final answer? That was wrong, but you have one more chance. Clock is counting down again. What's your answer? Is that your final It's country answer? singer. It's country singer. What? That's not it. I'm sorry. Yep, country singer. Told you. I should have went with the gut. Yeah, it's a lot of pop culture in this one. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. For $500. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Which of these types of baking pans produces a ring-shaped cake? Sheet pan. Yeah, pan. got that right. Ring what shape would be a bunt is pan. That your final answer. Yep. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. You won $500. Get ready for your second question, worth $1,000. A person who peddles medicines that are fake or ineffective is commonly said to be selling what? Ah. Uh, horse hair. Snake oil. Your final answer. Snake oil. Well, my friend, the right answer. Good answer. He's selling a bunch of what? snake oil over there. Don't buy from him. Here comes the next question, worth $2,000. Which of these anatomical idioms describes someone who is wealthy? Thin-skinned, loose-lipped, even-handed. Oh, who's uh? Is that well healed. Final answer. You got it. Right answer. You won two thousand dollars for three thousand. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road is a line from a traditional song of what people? You take on the high road, and I'll take the low Legion. road is a line from a traditional Scottish. song of what people? German. God. Is we'll go with, the, I don't know. Answer. Oh, you missed it. Replay. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You're just 15 questions away. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Seaworthy. All right. Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's start the game with the $500 question. You have 15 seconds to answer each No, I doubt it. Questions. There is over 3,000 questions or something in this one. By definition, which of these vessels is a type of canoe? Kayak. Ferry. Is that your final answer? <laughs> You're right. There you go. $500. Here comes your chance for $1,000. Let me look it up again. Spare. Take out a couple, but use care is an instruction in what classic game? Operation. Candyland. Twister. Musical chairs. That would be Operation. Is that your final answer? 
Yes. That's the correct answer. One, a thousand dollars. For two thousand dollars. In the classic fairy tale Rapunzel. Wait, I think it was over three thousand questions or something. His magic boots. An icicle. A spider. Her hair. Is that your final answer? Yep. Yes. That's the correct answer. You won two thousand dollars. Here comes the three thousand dollar question. <laughs> About three fourths of the world's active volcanoes lie in a Pacific region called the Ring, Ring of, of what? Fire. Night. Is that your final yep. answer? Yep. Fire. Was there ever any? That's the right answer. One three thousand dollars. Next question. Five thousand dollars. Here we go. The one wood golf club used to strike the ball long distances is better known by what name? Spoon, wedge, driver, putter. Is driver. That your final answer. That's what we're looking for. Yep. They're, they are drivers. That's a five thousand dollar landmark. A good start. Here comes the next question, worth $7,500. Now you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. Okay. In the viral webcomic Garfield Minus Garfield, what secondary character is pictured eerily alone? Linus Van Pelt, Dagwood Bumstead, Dogbert, John Arbuckle. Audience, we need your help. On your keypads, vote now. I've never Here's heard of any of these. Thinks. That would have been my answer. Final answer. I'm impressed. That's correct. Well, well, wasted a wasted something, but we gotta start seeing some questions. As of 2010, what celebrity chef has served as head judge on every season of Bravo's Top Chef? Uh, but, but what's his fucking name? Mario Batali, Wolfgang Puck, Anthony Bourdain, Tom Colicchio. Is that your final answer? I can't remember. My brain is not. Is that your final answer? I don't think it is. That's what my brain's telling me. But Sorry, my... that wasn't it. So let's go with the is gut. Is that your final answer? No. It's Tom. Tom. John's the owner. Oh, God. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Million. <laughs> How you doing, Knight? Yeah, the one you haven't heard. Get ready for the first question for five hundred dollars. <sighs> for each of the first five questions, you will have fifteen seconds to answer. Yeah, I know, right? In sports journalism, puckhead is an affectionate term for a fan of what sport? Uh, let's see. That That's, would be hockey. The only one you answer. slap a puck around with. That's the correct answer. Here comes your chance for $1,000. What cultural issue is examined in a 2008 Newsweek cover story titled Splitsville? Poverty. Divorce. That would have been divorce. Your final answer. You got it. Right answer. One, it's a very good article to read if you've ever read it. Splitsville is. At which of these places would a person most likely find a book known as a hymnal? Church. Restaurant. Is that your final answer? Yes. That's the correct answer. You won $2,000. Get ready for the next question for $3,000. A classic 1980 pop song by Lips Inc. repeatedly asks, Won't you take me to where? Groovy Land. Funky Town. Won't you take me to 
funky town. Was there ever any good? <laughs> That's the right answer. One three thousand dollars. Let's move on to the five thousand dollar question. Legendary Scottish hero William Wallace is the subject of what 1995 Mel Gibson movie? Legends of the Fall, The English Patient, Rob Roy, Braveheart. That's Braveheart. What am I? What am I sitting here? It's Wallace. That's the correct answer. Come on. Yeah, great movie. <laughs> I don't know what took my brain so long to catch up with the name. The $7,500 question is next. For each of the next five questions, you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. Yeah, The Patriot's another good movie. In 2010, what Supreme Court justice announced his retirement just before his 90th birthday? Oh, God, I don't know. Antonin Scalia. John Paul Stevens, Anthony Kennedy, Stephen Breyer. Audience, we need your help. Come on, dumb audience, give me the answer. Vote now. What does the audience say? Is that your final answer? Well done. That's correct. Seventy-five hundred dollars. Oh well, the audience was actually right this time. In 2009, which of these Family Guy characters moved to Stoolbend, Virginia to star in his own spin-off? Oh, I have no clue. Glenn Quagmire, Cleveland Brown, Joe Swanson, Mort Goldman. Is I'm going to say Cleveland Brown because I thought there was a Cleveland show. Good job. You got okay. it. You won $10,000. Let's see the $12,500 question. On his 2010 TV show, what chef attempts to change the eating habits of an entire town in West Virginia? Gordon Ramsay, Jamie Oliver, Tom Colicchio, Curtis Stone. You have two chances to get. Is that your Here, we'll just guy. We know it's wrong, so let's go. Sorry, that wasn't it. Clock's resuming, and you have one chance. Is that your final answer? That's not it, I'm sorry. Jamie Oliver, yay! Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Guess I don't watch enough cook TV shows. The first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play. He's bald and super ripped into hell. Okay. Here comes the $500 question. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Come on. If Blue from Blue's Clues and Clifford the Big Red Dog had a puppy, what color would it most likely be? Oh, God, be? you're asking me to mix colors now. Green. Brown. Red and blue make purple, if I remember right. Let's go. Well, my friend, you did it. Let's go. You won five hundred dollars. Here comes your chance for one thousand. Purple, the clueless dog. Because of its abundance of bright lights, what New York City landmark is called the Great White Way? Wall Street, Central Park, Ellis Island, Broadway. Is that your final answer? Final answer. No, too bad. Central Park. Nope, Broadway. All right, I'm getting tired of looking at red. The million dollar question. If you do not back answer to white. question within the time limit, the game will be over and you'll walk away with the money. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? 
Let's play Millionaire. Get ready for the first question for $500. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. Which of these objects weighs roughly 45.52 carats? Rosetta Stone. Michelangelo's date. Is that your final answer? Yep. Because it's the only one that I think would uh, be in that terms. Let's move on to the next question for $1,000. What type of clothing is a monokini? Business suit. Swimsuit. Is that your final answer? Yep. Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. One, a thousand dollars. Let's see the two thousand dollar question. Quacupuncture is a derisive term used by critics of a medical treatment that involves what? What? Ice packs. Needles. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. You won two thousand dollars. Let's see your next question, which is worth three thousand dollars. What rock group had a Billboard Top 10 hit in 1981 with the song "Did Do 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 Da Da Da"? The Police, Genesis, Aerosmith, Van Halen. Is that your? Yeah, I have no clue. Answer? Never even heard of it. But hey, good guess. Let's move on to the $5,000 question. What is the primary setting of the 1975 classic film, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Zoo. Mental hospital. That would be a mental hospital. Space. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's what we're looking for. You're right. Another good movie. Landmark, you can't leave with less than five thousand dollars. For seventy five hundred dollars, for each of the next five questions, you'll have thirty seconds to answer each question. Team Edward or Team Jacob is a passionate debate amongst readers of which of these authors? Oh, uh, what it what was her name? Rowling. Stephen Meyer. That was her name. Answer. The Twilight series. Well done. That's correct. One seventy-five hundred dollars. For ten thousand dollars. Which of these ladies of MTV's Jersey Shore is known for her signature hairdo, the poof? Angelina. J Wow. Snooky. Sweetheart. I don't even know any of them. Audience, we need your help. On your keypads, vote now. Here's what the audience thinks. I was Team Jacob. He, he was the werewolf. Is that your final answer? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It was Snooky. The audience don't know either. Edward was the vampire. 761. We're getting somewhere. Totally. I've never seen Jersey Shore. Uh, and I would have never saw tr freaking Twilight if it wasn't for my ex-wife. We got this. You have a time limit for every question. Left of Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. For $500, you'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. What toy was once reportedly banned in Japan because people looked indecent when they used it? Oh, that would be the hula hoop. Haki, is that your final answer? No. That's what we're looking for. You're right. You won $500. Get ready for your second question worth $1,000. A 
term often used in the tabloids, a tanorexic is a term often who is used in tabloids, a brushing their hair, whitening their teeth. Bra is that your no. final answer? Yeah, bronzing their skin. You got it. Right answer. One thousand dollars. Let's see the two thousand dollar question. Staten Island Landfill is one flavor of Five Boroughs, an ice cream brand honoring what city? Staten Island Landfill is, Chicago. is one flavor of the Five Boroughs, an Miami. ice cream brand is honoring New York City. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. You won $2,000 for $3,000. Meg Ryan was married Meg for 10 Ryan years to, 10 years to co what leading man or co-star in her Russell Crowe, Tom Hanks, Billy Crystal, Dennis Quaid. Is that your final answer? I know it's wrong. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was incorrect. Well, that ain't gonna help MC Money here. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You're just 15 questions away from winning one million dollars. Let's take a look at the All first right, five categories going. you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's start the game with the $500 question. You'll get 15 seconds per question for the first five questions. What character is typically started by clouds? Dirt and dust. What is oh, that would be what's his face? Uh, I'll know by we're looking at the name. Schroeder. Pick is dance. that your final answer? Was there ever any doubt? That's the right answer. You won $500. For $1,000. Which of these interjections is defined as a funny sounding word for kiss? Ugh. Moi. Is that your final answer? You're right. Let it go. $1,000. Let's move on to the $2,000 question. As its name implies, the card game Solitaire requires how many people to play? One. Six. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. One, $2,000. We're moving on to $3,000 now. All right. Since 2002, what movie star has been a global spokesperson for cell phone provider T-Mobile? Angelina Jolie, Reese Witherspoon, Lily Tomlin, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. Hey, my gut was right. $3,000 for $5,000. Which of these animal names, when used as verbs, are synonyms? Goose and snake, rat and squirrel, ferret and carp, ape and parrot. Is that your final answer? No, too bad. That was the wrong answer. Didn't understand the question, so that's fine. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You're just 15 questions away from. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Get ready for the first question for $500. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. 
At Sears, a Sears Ophetic is what a type Sears of what? Is a type of what? Ceiling fan. Look, is that the mattress? Final answer. That's what we're looking for. You're right. You want five hundred dollars. Here comes your chance for one thousand dollars. On stars like Angela, On stars like Angela G, what full sense of body parts are often described as beastie stung? Lips. Eyes. Is that your final answer? Yep. Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. One, a thousand dollars. Here comes the next question, worth two thousand dollars. Akebono and Konishiki are the professional names of two legendary athletes in what sport? Sumo wrestling. Is that your final answer? Yeah, they sound like sumos. You got it. Right answer. You won $2,000. Here comes the $3,000 question. Connected to the brain, the acoustic nerve is integral to which of these senses? Hearing. Sight. Taste. Is that your final By the word answer? acoustic, I'm going to say hearing. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You've won $3,000. Next question, $5,000. Here we go. Old Hickory, Shoeless Joe, and Stonewall are all monikers of famous Americans with what last name? Johnson. Jones. Is that your Jackson. final answer? Old Hickory. Well, my friend... Shoeless Joe Jackson and Stonewall Jackson. Yep. Hey, next question. You can't leave with less than five thousand dollars. The seventy-five hundred dollar question is next. You have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions. Which of these best describes the star of the Which TLC? Which of these best describes the star of the TLC series, Twist of Kate? Bakery owner. Mother of eight. Mother of eight. Is that your final answer? That's the answer. Well done. You have $7,500. $10,000. In the Oscar-nominated 2009 movie Fantastic Mr. Fox, who voices Mr. Fox? Russell Crowe, Bruce Willis, George Clooney, Adam Sandler. Um, uh, if I remember right, Is that was that George your Clooney. Final answer. There's no fooling you. You got it. You've won ten thousand dollars. Let's see the $12,500 question. In 2010, Kevin Eubanks declared he was leaving his gig as what late night host's longtime band leader? Mm. Jay Leno, David Letterman, Jimmy Kimmel, Conan O'Brien. The only one I know of these would be Jay Is Leno. That your final answer. I know yes. the rest, but Jay Leno is the only one I remember with a band. Twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Get ready for the fifteen thousand dollar question. Seven more, and you'll be a millionaire. In what U.S. state would you find the American Indian Pueblo of Zuni? Utah, New Mexico, Colorado. Arizona. Pablo Zonone. That sounds like a Mexican Is phrase. Your final Let's answer. go with Mexico. That's the answer. You won fifteen thousand dollars. Six more questions between you and a million dollars. Now let's move on to the twenty-five thousand dollar question. Played by both Mickey Rourke and Matt Dillon in movies, Henry Chinaski is what writer's alter ego? James mm. Elroy, J.D. Salinger, Charles Bukowski, Philip Roth. Mm. Is that 
that your final answer? Yeah, sure. That's the answer. Well done. You won that last name just dollars. sounds familiar. You've reached twenty-five thousand dollars. No matter what, this is the least you'll leave with. Let's move on to the fifty thousand dollar question. Only five remain until a million dollars. The questions are getting tougher now. You have a forty-five second time limit to answer each question. How old was Thomas Jefferson? Oh, he was like. How old was Thomas Jefferson when he drafted the Declaration of Independence? Twenty-seven. Thirty-three. Thirty-nine. Forty-five. Go with all right. Let's start with the double dip. Let's stop the clock and hear your first answer. We'll do 33. Final answer. Congratulations. That's the right answer. All right. I was just wanting to make sure I was because I was thinking 27 or 33. I just bait. Oh boy, the space program. There's only four questions away. One million dollar question. Which of these animals has never been sent into space by humans? Rabbit, cat, tortoise, parrot. We need your help on your keypads. Vote now. Let's see if the audience can help you out. I'm gonna say parrot. That makes sense. Answer. Yes, sir. Right answer. $100,000. I only have one lifeline, three questions. Oh, God. From $1 million. Here comes the $250,000 question. The Gulf of Tonkin is an arm of what larger body of water? Bay of Bengal. Sea of Japan. South China Sea, Gulf of Thailand. Is that your final answer? I'm sorry, that was the wrong answer. Ah, uh, should have went with China. Oh well. five categories you're going to be facing we're close are you ready audience are you ready let's play millionaire this day, it may be the day this may be the day for five hundred dollars we, we got it pretty far on that one but watch now we're gonna start failing again five questions What grocery mascot is described as eight feet tall and five feet wide with three ice cubes in his head? Oh, that's Kool-Aid Man. Kool is that your final answer? That's what we're looking for. You're right. You won $500. For $1,000, 
Despite its negative connotations, which of these adjectives is often used as a slang term for cool? Filed. Fierce. Is that your final yeah. answer? You go, girl. You're so fierce. Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. One, a thousand dollars. Get ready for the two thousand dollar question. Smucker's magic shell sauces are designed to go from liquid to solid after being poured on top of what? Ice cream. Pasta. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. We're going two thousand dollars. We're moving on to three thousand dollars now. In cooking, recipes commonly call for cooking springs. recipes call on call for springs of which of these ingredients? Garlic, thyme, mushrooms, cinnamon. Hmm, I know this one. Give me a minute. I don't know it. Time's up. I couldn't think of what it was called. Off the top of my head. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. For $500, you have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Which of these punctuation marks is not present in the title of the movie Dude, where's my car? Comma. Apostrophe. Exclamation point. Question mark. Is that your final answer? Yep. That's the correct answer. You won $500. For $1,000. Listenership is the term often used to refer to the audience for which of these types of media? Newspapers. Is that your final answer? Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. One, a thousand dollars. Let's move on to the two thousand dollar question. Which of these snack foods is typically packaged in a cylinder instead of a bag or a box? Teddy Grahams. Pringles. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes, that's the correct answer. We're going two thousand dollars. Here comes the three thousand dollar question. Which of these colors is, by definition, a shade of purplish red? Cyan. Pistachio. Is that your final answer? Yes. Well, my friend, you did it. Good answer. It's the only one that. Saffron, if I remember right, it's more red. yellow red. Landmark question worth five thousand dollars. In the Olympics, trap, skeet, and double trap are events in what sport? Gymnastics. Shooting. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. I don't ever heard of trap or double trap, but I know skeet is a shooting term. Happens, five thousand dollars is yours. <sighs> Let's move on to the seventy five hundred dollar question. You have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions. Aaron Andrews earned the apt nickname America's Sideline Princess as a reporter for what network? Fox News, CNBC, ESPN, Style Network. Aaron Andrews. Well, it's a sideline princess. This has to do with sports, probably. Answer. I'm in 
Press? That's correct. $7,500. Yeah, that's the only way I could deduct that. Let's take a look at the $10,000 question, shall we? On her reality show, what Kardashian had cameras rolling when she delivered her son Mason in 2009? Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Chris. Yeah, I don't know. There's no fooling you. You got it. You've won ten thousand dollars. That was a good guess. I don't, know, I don't keep up with the Kardashians. Here it comes. As its name implies, what website enables video conferencing between strangers chosen at random? Chat Roulette, Friendster, Plaxo. Is that your final answer? Yeah. I'm impressed. That's right. This is chat roulette. Won twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Get ready for the fifteen thousand dollar question. Okay. Seven will be a millionaire. Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger was born in what country? Austria, Belgium, Germany, Romania. That sounds German. Is that your we'll say final German. answer? Yep, that's it. You won fifteen thousand dollars. Six more questions between you and a million dollars. Now let's move on to the twenty-five thousand dollar question. The headquarters of the International Red Cross are located in what European city? Geneva. Copenhagen, mm, international Oslo Amsterdam Red Cross I would say Geneva but it don't sound right I'm just gonna go with Geneva is that your final answer? Final answer. Oh, no. That was wrong. Yeah, I told you it was Geneva, but my brain's like, no, it can't be Geneva. It's got to be Amsterdam. There's with the gut again. From winning one, let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Let's start the game with the $500 question. For each of the first five questions, you will have 15 seconds to answer. Capable of rodent teeth and enamel, which of, of, of these fruits is most acidic? Which of these fruits is the most acidic? Cantaloupe. Lemon. Is that your final answer? Yeah, they use lemons in a lot of cleaning products, so Was I they can be acidic. That's the right answer. You've won $500. Get ready for your second question worth $1,000. In what reality show are contestants often asked to participate in a pose off? Oh, pose off. That is uh, top America's chef. Top Model. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. One, a thousand dollars. For two thousand dollars. Before and after photos of the tops of men's heads are commonly used to market what drugstore brand? Before and after. Men's heads, that'd be real game. That your final answer. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You've won two thousand dollars. Let's see your next question, which is worth three thousand dollars. A 
popular snack food for children, string cheese is usually made from what type of cheese? Ricotta. Mozzarella. Yes, that's the correct answer. Yes, that's the correct answer. Which is a very popular pizza Next topping. Next question, five thousand dollars. Here we go. Made by heating natural clays, burnt umber is a shade of what color? Green. Brown. Brown. Purple. Blue. Is that your final answer? Was there ever any doubt? No. Nope. That's the right answer. That's your first landmark. You can't leave with less than five thousand dollars. Okay. For seventy-five hundred dollars, you have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions. In two thousand nine, Khloe Kardashian married Lamar Odom. He was an NBA star. NBA team. I remember right. Miami Heat. Houston Rockets, Los Angeles Lakers, oh, they're Phoenix oh. Suns. Is that your final? Yeah, answer? I don't know who he played for. Yep, that's it. Cool. Seventy-five hundred dollars. Let's move on to ten thousand dollars now. With a new actor playing villain Freddy Krueger, what '80s horror classic was remade in 2010? A Nightmare on Elm Street. Halloween. Uh, with a new actor playing the villain. Oh, Freddy Krueger's Nightmare on Elm Street. Answer. That's the answer. Well I didn't know they remade it. $10,000. Next question is worth $12,500. Here it comes. Which of these is true of the Navi people as depicted in the 2009 blockbuster Avatar? They are short. They have tails. They have fins. Is that your final answer? Yep. Well done. That's correct. Of all those options, they have tails. You are seven questions away from the million. Let's see your next question worth $15,000. What industrial process creates a waste material called slag? Slag is... Oh, oh uh... Mining. Plastic production. Glass blowing, oil refining, iron smelting. If I remember right, hold on, let me think here. Is that I'm gonna say iron smelting answer? actually. Slag. Uh -huh. If I remember, slag is referring to metal, not oil. Six questions away from a million dollars. I had to think there. Now, the I've heard the term so much. Which of these countries has a capital city whose name means the peace in English? Brazil, Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile. Audience. On your keypads, vote now. Here's what the audience thinks. Still don't. Time's up. They'll have to walk away with fifteen thousand dollars. I forgot to pick an answer. I thought I picked an answer and I didn't. I just don't know. Oh well, shit happens. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. They were so indecisive right there, trying to debate. You're just 15 questions away from winning one. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. 
Get ready for the first question for five oh. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. A person asked to develop a plan further is often told to take the ball and what? Run with it. Throw with it. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. $500. For $1,000. The aptly titled comic strip BC primarily features what people as its main characters? Cavemen. Cops. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. One, a thousand dollars. Here comes the next question worth two thousand dollars. What classic video game character's appearance was inspired by a pizza with one slice removed? Oh my god, are you serious? Dog, asking me this one? That, that would be Pac-Man. Answer. That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? won two thousand dollars let's see your next question which is worth three thousand dollars frozen food that has been improperly stored often suffers from discoloration known as what freezer bruise freezer scar is freezer burn your final answer yes that's the correct answer won three thousand dollars <sighs> let's move on to the five thousand dollar question what plastic Ugh. toy comes with a pointing device called a planchet? Ouija board. Rubik's Cube. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. You're right. $5,000. Watch enough movies or know your history about the Ouija board. That's your first landmark. You can't leave with less than $5,000. They refer to it as multiple times. For $7,500. For each of the next five questions, you'll have 30 seconds to answer each question. Often just called Coach K, Mike Krzyzewski has led what school to four NCAA men's basketball titles? Duke University. Georgetown University. University of North Carolina, University of Connecticut. Coach K. Is that your Well, the one that I know answer? for winning titles is Duke. Good job. You got it right. So we'll go with Duke. For $7,500. Let's move on to $10,000 now. Oh. In 2010, what Scrubs star confirmed via Facebook that his long-running sitcom wouldn't be renewed? Neil Patrick Harris, Charlie Sheen, Jason Lee, Zach Braff. Uh, here we go, failing some more trivia. Away from winning one million dollars. You have a time limit for every question. Leftover time is banked for use on. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready, audience? Are I thought we ready? had it on that one Let's run, and then <laughs> got stumped. Let's see the five hundred dollar question. You have fifteen seconds to answer each of the first five questions. The anime the spoke spurred Sony. Sony often spouts the catchphrase, I'm cuckoo for what? See, I don't know, didn't know he had a name, Cuckoos. but that would be Coco Puffs. Is that your final answer? That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You won $500. For $1,000. 
what restaurant chain's iconic logo is commonly referred to as the Golden Arches? Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Subway, McDonald's. Is that your final answer? There we go. I almost That's timed that one out. That's the right answer. I got. I'm just not really in the mood for this game. Obviously, I'm zoning out. Several of Martha Stewart's cats, including Mozart, Vivaldi, and Verdi, are named after famous what? Composers. Classical composer. Is that your final answer? That's right. You know your stuff, don't you? You won two thousand dollars. Here comes the three thousand dollar question. On a 1980s TV series, a plucky orphan named Penelope Brewster was better known as what? Shorty. Hunky. Hunky. Tippy. Bitsy. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. Hunky Brewster. Won three thousand dollars. Let's move on to the $5, good, good show. question. Engineered by scientists, the Brocco flower is a type of what edible? Fruit. Green. Vegetable. Vegetable. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. I was, I was hoping broccoli was a vegetable. <laughs> You've reached five thousand dollars. Whatever happens now, you won't leave with less than that. Ready for the seventy-five hundred dollar question? You have thirty seconds to answer each of the next five questions. The last song and Dear John are two thousand ten movies based on novels by what best-selling author? Nicholas Sparks, Ian McEwan, Nick Hornby, Jody Picoult. Um. Is Nicholas Sparks. Final answer. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're good books. I didn't know he did last song. I knew he did Dear John. The Vatican forgave what classic band for once saying they were more popular than Jesus? The Who, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, The Doors. All right, let's start with the double. Is that your final answer? Sorry, that wasn't it. Is that your final answer? That's not it, I'm sorry. The Beatles? Wow. Okay. Okay. Take a look at the first five categories you're going to be facing. Are you ready? Audience, are you oh. ready? Let's play Millionaire. Who wants to be a millionaire? Not me, obviously. Let's see the $500 question. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. Due to its potency, which of these beverages is typically served in small portions called shots? Liquor. Fruit punch. Espresso. Is that your final and it's answer? also served in shots. Was there ever any good? That's the right answer. You won five hundred dollars. For one thousand dollars. Among the paints sold by Sherwin Williams, a blaze and heartthrob are both varieties of what color? Red. Blue. Is that your final answer? Yep. Yes, that's the correct answer. One a thousand dollars. Get ready for the two thousand dollar question. One side is fuzzy, one side is prickly, separately useless, but together so sticky is a deep. Oh, amount that would be uh Velcro. Velcro. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. You 
collect $2,000. Here comes the $3,000 question. E for everyone, T for teen, and M for mature are standard ratings for which of the following? Video games, comic books, pop music. Is that your final answer? That's the correct answer. But $3,000. For $5,000. In a famous 1957 film, oh. a group of soldiers worked together to build what structure on the River Kwai? Dock. Bridge. Lighthouse. Monument. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's the correct answer. I was hoping it'd be a bridge. That's your first landmark. You can't leave with less than five thousand dollars. The seventy-five hundred dollar question is next. For each of the next five questions, you'll have thirty seconds to answer each question. Dubbed America's doctor by Oprah Winfrey, what is Dr. Oz's first name? Uh, Dr. Frank. Oz's first name. Wasn't Mehmet. it Frank? Oswald. Raul. It wouldn't be Frank because that would make sense. Oswald don't sound right. Raul or Minette is what I'm down to. Let's is go with B. Your final answer. That's the answer. Well done. One seventy-five hundred dollars. Let's move on to ten thousand dollars now. Known for playing Arizona on Grey's Anatomy, actress Jessica Capshaw has what famous stepdad? Oh. Martin Scorsese. Oh God! George come Lewis, on, Jessica. Steven Spielberg. Mike Nichols. Answer. Well done. That's correct. You've won ten thousand dollars. Here comes your next question for twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Wow, she was referred before she was Steven ABC's Spielberg. Modern huh? Family. Ed O'Neill was best known for playing what classic TV dad? Al Ed O'Neill. Danny Tanner. Jason Seaver. Stephen Keaton. Well done. That's correct. I don't remember him playing any of the other ones. I don't remember who played El Bundy, so we'll just go with El Bundy. From one million dollars. Now the fifteen thousand dollar question. How many prime numbers are there between one and twenty? Oh God. Six. I gotta do the seven. math here. Prime numbers. Let's do this in my head. Prime, prime. Prime numbers, prime numbers. Oh my god, my brain. I know prime numbers. Oh, let's see, there is two, three, five. Seven, eleven, thirteen. It would be eight. Eight? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Well done. That's right. I was right. I did. I remembered my prime numbers. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand dollar question, and the second landmark. Is I knew that was. I had to pause it because. Can't do math. The structure was commonly referred to as the tragic lamppost when it was first completed. Tragic lamppost. The Statue of Liberty. Eiffel Tower. Empire State Building. Washington Monument. 
That sounds like it'll be the Statue of Liberty. But that's gonna be a trick question. I already know. And it wouldn't be a Washington Monument. Is that we'll go with rifle. Answer. Screw it. Well done. That's correct. You won twenty-five thousand dollars. Good job. You made it to the second landmark, and twenty-five thousand oh. guaranteed. You're five questions away from a million dollars. Now the fifty thousand dollar question. You have 45 seconds to answer each of the next four questions. Whose left arm is buried more than 100 miles away from the rest of his body? Robert E. Lee, Meriwether Lewis, Stonewall Jackson, Nat Turner. I'll just go with phone a friend. Let's call one of your friends to help you out. I would guess C. Oh, I'm not even 50% sure. Not. <sighs> well, you're going with what I would think, so, I, so I'm going to go with it. You got it right. One, two, four questions away. Four questions away, and only got two lifelines left. Okay. I gotta at least know two of these. Come on. The White House uses which of these zip codes? Oh, White House zip code. Two o five o o, two two o three o, two four o o one, two one o seven seven. Pick an answer. answer. Just give me, just give me an A. Right on. That's correct. All right. Awesome. That was a good guess. Behind the river. Only three questions away from a million dollars. Now here's the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar question. Also known as Mosi Oya Tunya or the smoke that thunders, Victoria Falls lies on what African river? Zambezi, Limpopo, Niger, Congo. That would be the Zambezi uh, river. That was an easy answer. one. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Fun fact, it could be heard 40 miles away. It's so loud. There's two questions between you and a million. All right, I got two lifelines, two questions, so we're good. According to the Oxford University Press, what is the most commonly used noun in the English language? Word. Time. Man. Thing. We need your help on your keypads. Vote now. Let's see if the audience can help you out. That didn't really help. But we'll go with their answer Is time. That your final answer. Yes, indeed. You got it. You won five hundred thousand dollars. Got one lifeline going into the million dollar question. Chance to win one million dollars. 
Got our million dollar question. You'll have 45 seconds. Plus the time you bank, which comes out to... For a grand total of... I have four minutes for this question. At a words a minute, about how long would it take a person to type the Gettysburg Address? Three minutes. And it's a math question. Seven minutes. Eleven. You have two chances to get the right answer. The clock stopped. What's your first choice? Okay. If I start running out of the time, I gotta calculate this in my head. Forty minute. Forty words. Gotta remember the Gettysburg address here. Gettysburg address. It would be either 11 or 7 minutes, because it wouldn't be 15 or 30. So let's go with 11. Final answer. That was wrong, but you have one so it's got to be 7 minutes. Final answer. Right on. That's correct. Holy heck, we won a million dollars. I didn't see that coming at all. God, we won the million dollars. Stop that timer, and no, I do not want to replay. Oh, it's over. Well, what do you know? I got an admirer. And Miss Chosen's here to see it. Earn a million dollars. Meow, 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 meow. And Trog. Both lurking in the background there. We won our million dollars. Let's roll these credits. Oh, that was... Oh my god, that was... That was crazy. Run. We were 200,000 away from actually hitting the other goal. <laughs> Should we go back for it? Ah, uh, you just got off work. <laughs> you guys want more trivia? We can go for the other 200,000. <laughs> uh, wow, I got it. I really didn't know nothing. I was just lucky guessing most of it. I started just deducting in my head the answers that they would make me want to select. Did it go through everything already? Or I don't know. I ain't paying attention. I'm trying to get the next game ready. Which I'm not looking forward to. Because I gotta revisit this crappy game.
I think it's just rolling through them again. call it there and I gotta get the light on so we can slap this game baby powder, lavender, genuine. Who wants to be a millionaire? Man, there was tons of questions in this edition. Crazy amount of questions in this edition. A lot of pop culture though. Very, very heavy in the pop culture zone. Very, very heavy in the pop culture. Uh, but we got through it with a lucky run. But we have one last word for it. Who wants to be a millionaire? You were fun. A lot of pop culture questions. Drove me nuts for 17 hours. So you know what? Take your broke butt back to the shelf and stay there. That would be another one on the calendar. <laughs> 